And the ball's in the air, and away we go. As uh, a couple of boys uh, throw themselves down, one of them's down and out already in the middle for uh, Kawaii. Dan, you might get your uh, eyes on him as Kawaii go forward now. Inside 50, it's number 17 for Kawaii. He's up again though, Dan. He might He's alive. Play. I think he is alive. And uh, the mark taken in the back pocket for uh, Winchelsea to uh, drive them out of the danger spot. It's the young man Ryan who went down moments ago. Ball to the outer side. Buttering up there is Jack Peck. I think he might have been the best and fairest winner in this competition. Poor kick by him inside 50. Repelled by Winchelsea. Good work coming through was Berg. Kicks very, very wide to the wing. Racing away under pressure. Campbell Floyd just kept it running along in front of him at the right stage. Managed to pick up the footy now. And it's gone towards the boundary line on the far side in the shadows. Very, very early in the, in the day. Very early in the morning. It's only 8.30 for kickoff in this contest. A bit of juice still on the grass as the ball's worked out by Carayo. All centrally. Interesting work. They probably need to get this back towards the boundary line. Which was he trying to go forward? Doing his best work in there was Berman. He couldn't come up with it. Lots of players around the footy. The umpire will surely call for a bounce. Now he's letting things go, the umpire. Carayo have numbers on the outside of the pack. They decide to bomb long towards the wing. Waiting at the back is Sawney. Came up with a footy, got the handball away to Berg, goes on the left boot, back inside, attacking 50, towards the pocket. Little fella runs onto it, kicks around the corner. Kick was smothered, partially smothered. Ball picked up by the Korean defence. They'll come away, interesting kick. But they'll clear. Possibly through the centre of the ground here. Has an option in front of him if he can find him in Talon Tire. Instead, they've mucked it up again. Good handball back by Berg to the favourite his teammate Langley, who recovers the footy now on the wing, darts through a couple, handballs over top. the top. He is a likely top. Got it to Sawney. Sawney at half forward, runs to 50, kicks on the right boot, long to the goal square, off hands perhaps, or is it dribbled through? through? No, it was off hands. Good eyes at uh, about 8.35 in the morning. Off hands, <laughs> the first score of literacy. They are one behind one point. They lead Carrillo yet to score. So we'll just muddle on here. As Carrillo put the ball back into play. And the little bloke who got clobbered in the middle just slid in and tried to take the mark for Carrillo. That was Ryan, couldn't take it. Carrillo going forward through the middle though. As, uh, well, no, that's a turnover. And another turnover might fall Carrillo's way. It's Ryan again. He's uh, right in this game. Kicked off the ground, out of the pack. Winchelsea's way, running around. This might be the first goal of the day. It is to Winch, and you can hear the mums and dads scream. It's Darcy Parrish. The big shock of blonde hair goes bang and kicks the first goal for uh, Winchelsea. And that's what they lead by, one straight kick. Well, there's a few of them down here. And they've got the lead by seven points very early here in this contest, Winchelsea. And, geez, I tell you what, you could hear people absolutely everywhere around the ground that have come all the way down from Winchelsea to see the young fellas play in the Division 5, under 14, Kerr's Northside Higher Cup Grand Final. You on? Hello. Ball up and down in the centre of the ground, flying at it. Geez, a big leap there from Dunkley. Knocked it forward about 25 metres, and he'll do his own roving. Well, there's a good ruckman if you've ever seen one, but he slipped over at the crucial stage, possibly dealt with by an opponent. Up by calls play on. Sawney on the left wing, goes long to half forward and finds McFarlane, the captain, on his chest. Decides to go quickly towards goal, bouncing footy across the face, just the one behind. Winchelsea making all the play at the start of this contest. They are 1-2-8. They lead Carrillo yet to score. So, ball to be kicked back in. 1-2-8. All the scoring, as you heard. Winchelsea so far in this uh, first term. As uh, Winchelsea make a contest out of it. It was almost a lay down was there for Carrillo to defend. But uh, to no avail. Nice little fist over the line from the Winch boys. And uh, we'll get a ball up. Ball to be tossed back up the far side. Good work there from Hall. Smashed it back in towards the corridor. Picked up. Kicked towards goal. And might be that shock of blonde hair again, Phil. Is that Darcy Parrish? Jim. He's got another one. So he's got two in the opening minutes. He's on fire. He is on fire. They moved to 2 2 14. Winchelsea making all the running. Carrillo yet to score. And Carrillo yet to really have a, 
a deep attack inside their forward zone. Of I don't course. think they've gone inside 50, have they? Well, they have, but we like to call uh, in the under-14s, we like to say you've got to go inside 30 to be able to score. So that's the, uh, that's the tactic we go with. And they've, uh, they haven't really managed to get that far down at this stage. Ball back in the centre of the ground. A bit of a change in the ruck. Hall moved into the centre. Got the palm down towards Berg. Berg on the right boot inside attacking 50. It came off the shins there of Oates. And he managed to gather up the footy. Kicks into the centre of the ground. Going back with a flight was Jack Upek. He couldn't take the mark. Araya had the numbers around the fall of the footy in the centre of the ground. Handball up came from Giles. They do have a chance here along the outer wing. Running onto the footy is Emond. Picks it up. Avoids a teammate who almost ran over him. Kicks inside 50 looking for Jack Upek. <laughs> Front of the pack trying to take the mark was Fincham. Now he's under pressure. Dropped it. Berg off the ground. To his helmeted teammate who couldn't pick up the footy. That was Albury. Ball goes inside attacking 50 for the second time in the game for Carrara. But it's a turnover to Winchelsea. Ball comes wide to Sawney. Handball's up. Looking for his teammate in Fincham. Gets on the right boot, the man in the yellow boots. Goes up the wing searching for Bailey. He's again. Off hands and off shins. Sawney again. Had a bit of an early. Well done. Shrugs a couple of tacklers, takes a bounce. Goes on the right boot, wobbles one towards half oh. forward. And a good mark in the back. That might be the skipper, I think. Sean Taken McFarlane. by McFarlane. Yes, a very, very good grab. He's a likely top. He's a big Number unit. Under 30 or under 21. Have a look at the size of the boy. Plenty of him. He's a very, very big man. And he comes. We're about 35 metres out, sprays oh, it away to the right. Yeah. Jeez, it had the carry. The carry, all right. Finished up in row Kicked F. into the river. He almost did. So that's Winchelsea. 2 3 15 lead Karai yet to score. We have played about six minutes in the under 14 Division 5. Kerr's Northside Higher Cup Grand Final. That's a mouthful. Yeah, as uh, the ball's put back into play by uh, Carrillo. Now they've got the loose man set up out in the wing. Nice little mark from Eamon. Eamon goes long to a contest. The two number fives having a crack at it. The winch boy will be happy with the boundary, I would have thought. No, he's kept it in play, Campbell Floyd. And it's still in contest on the wing. Now Winchelsea run away with the football. Good uh, positive stuff, but the kick's not much good. Spilt the sitter down there was uh, Michael Gerrard. Butters up okay, and Carrillo now to the wing. Oh, another one spilt. By oh, the big, big bloke for Carrillo. Might be a bit early for him. That's Jack Peck. Gets the ball out to half forward. Carrillo still mounting something here. Falls just short. Winchelsea defenders, they're grim, they're hard at it, they're uh, doing everything they can to stop the uh, inside 54. Eh? Hasn't worked this time, kick out of the pack. Carrillo, there's a couple of them there, they just can't control a football. The winch boys will be happy to see it through for a point, and that's exactly what happened. They got their first score of the morning, Carrillo. That was a likely move inside their attacking zone. Almost came up with a, a score. A major score, just the one behind to their name. Winchelsea to bring it back into play. What a Winchelsea, Phil. What are their, uh, are they the Magpies or the Saints or what are they? We'll have to find out. But racing away is Sawney, been very good. He'll have to uh, deal with the man who just got oh, a bit change. Clean, Collided with Hall, the big ruckman, who decided to butter up the handball oh, to the strength of the opposition. Bit of comedy cables to Ball up towards half forward at Tabor. Good mark coming out there from Talon Tyre. Goes on the right foot oh, in board. No. Terrible kick in Can't the air. Beat the ball, son. I think that might have been McF or was it uh, Stokes on the left boot kicking outside his defensive 50. In fact, it was Langley. He got it away towards the centre of the ground. Ball in contest. Running onto it beautifully. That was great from Dunkley. The man who started in the ruck at the start of the game. Goes on the right boot up towards half forward. That McFarlane who comes out to meet it. He's there playing like a, an AFL side at the moment. Winchell see they're moving it beautifully. Into the middle. Berg was on his own. He dropped it. Then he was helped out by a teammate who couldn't dispose of the footy correctly. Umpire called play on. Umpire's letting things go early in this contest, which is good to see. Leading the race was clear. He couldn't come up with it. So many races away. They might have to tag him. Even though it's under four days, Division 5, he's had a stack of it. The Corolla will affect the turnover at half back. Now, Corolla, what can they mount here through the middle? They've got the numbers. They just need a kind bounce. And they have got that kind bounce. There's two or three of them now. They can raffle the football as uh, the decision's good. Tabor just on the 50 takes the mark and he's just a little fellow. Goes wide, don't know why. Well, there's a loose man out there. He takes them on, puts it under his arm and then bangs it onto the boot and goes for home. Ooh, just away to the right, one behind. Nice try, but um, pretty hard to kick from out there, Ben. 
Yeah, yeah I'm not sure why he went wide. I think he uh, he had a man on out there, but it's very, very, very tough. Too, we'll have the crack. It's very, very tough to get goals from out there at this ground, especially early in the morning when the ball's wet. Ball back into play. Oh. Terrible kick. Couldn't take the mark, though. In front was Fitzpatrick. Went back in to try and get it. Jackie Peck. Dale Jackie Peck on the right boot. Beautiful pass. Well, he finds Connor Kent. About 40 metres out when oh, he kicked. Connor Kent, the half forward line. He is the half forward line. <laughs> Bit like Lewis Roberts Thompson. That's it. I wonder if they call him KCK. Take the time they could. Not KFC. No, definitely not. And he comes. He'll kick from about 35 in the end, which is a long trip in the under 14s. Made it but he's kick. got it up there easily. Terrific kick. Maybe we'll say kick it from 32. Karai get there first of the morning in the Division 5 under 14 grand final. They move to 1 2 8. Plays Winchelsea 2 3 15. We've gone about 10 minutes in the first term. No real breeze to speak of this morning as there was yesterday. The trees very, very still. The ground is still wet. But it's the players. Very, very good skills early in this contest. It might be Division 5, but these are two first teams, and that's probably why they've made it through to the grand final. And, of course, remembering Phil, as I think I might have mentioned earlier, or maybe it didn't get on air, no, none of these sides have won a grand final, a junior grand final, under 14s or under 16s, since 2003 when Kurai took out Division 2. There you go. So certainly both playing for a bit of club success. They certainly are, and Kurai now uh, seem to have got the matchups right. They've just burst the ball out of the middle. From uh, the big fellow who's driven it down forward, that was Jackie Peck, had a ton of the footballs, turned it over though, the kick wasn't real good. Winchell see there marking around his uh, um, Tabor, who uh, just has a kick from very wide out in the boundary line. Right footed kick, and he's just missed, uh, missed the goal, one behind the result. So uh, Correa under 1 3, the trial by one straight kick. Ball back into play here for Winchelsea, who have made most of the running, but Correa have come at them in the last couple of minutes. Goes long and wide with the kick. Went over Fincham's head, who was a target. Sawney came through, he couldn't take the mark. Should have been a push in the back, will be. It'll be a, like he got cleaned up in, in the first minute, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan with the orange shoelaces. Goes up towards half forward, over the back. Tried to get the handball away. There's that helmeted man down there. He got the handball away. It was good footy. I think that might have been Campbell Floyd. No, in fact, it was Miles. All up towards the wing. Running onto it is number 81, who we don't have to have in our record, with the green boots on. The Karaya will affect the turnover. Going around the corner was Giles. It's a good kick in the end, because Karaya have the numbers. Up towards half forward. That could have been the hyphen. Connor Kent, who kicked the last goal, sliding through on his knees. It was good work from Talon Tyre. Jackie Peck. Coming through, Jackie Peck could have been held without it. Head over it was Connor Kent. He Ooh. couldn't come up with it. Now he's got it on the ground, just decided to kick it sideways in the end. Good work coming through was Langley, couldn't get the handball oh, away. Tabor on the right boot from 50 to the goal square. Off hands to the back of the pack. Winchelsea have the numbers, overrun it at the crucial stage. Going back in there, trying oh. to pick up the footy was Carter. Could have got one in the back, perhaps. And now we have a bounce. Up, Fair enough, I suppose, McGranny. So we have a bounce. About 15 metres out from Carrillo's attacking goal. Left forward pocket. Ball tossed up. Interesting ruck duel. No real contest in the end. Amber over the top. Only as far as Ryan fills man. But over the head of him. And Winchelsea will clear. Oh, up towards the wing. Yeah, the sun definitely got in his eyes. Giles went over the back of his head. Racing towards the boundary line. Under a lot of pressure was Shelley. Managed to keep it in play. He got it back towards Giles, who's under pressure. Handball's up the line to no one in particular. They do have the numbers here, Carrillo, but the man in front, the man with the footy now is Bailey. He picks it up. Socket off the ground by the helmeted man in Stokes. Payon says the umpire. Oh, he's got one. The, uh, the unknown man, number 81. Kick from half back from Carrillo. There's Gerard. Goes to the centre of the ground. Carrillo have a chance to attack here on the left boot. To up play. towards Jackie Peck. He's there, if he can get the handball over the top. He decides to kick it instead. It was good work from Tabor, but it went over Jackie Peck's head. And buttering up for Winchelsea was Langley. Langley. And now Correa, they've given themselves a chance here, two or three of them. Decision-making time. Down the decision was a beauty. An absolute ripper. He had a bit of a look around Eamond, and uh, he's picked out, uh, as you heard, Salentire, who then goes wide, unselfishly, 
and uh, spots up a man in much better position. The bloke is kicked there, uh, only goal that eight. Kyle Connor Kent, the half forward line, the half, and he's got another shot on goal. He might be one of those sharp shooters from 38 straight in front. Spot him up and he'll kick well, it every time. There's the siren, so he's got one after the siren to tie this up at quarter time. Puts it on its way and kicks the goal, easy as you like. He's never going to miss. Never going to miss. He is a good kick. Uh, so at quarter time here in uh, this uh, under 14 Division 5 grand final between Corio and Winchelsea, all tied up at two goals, three, that is 15 points apiece. Welcome back to Drew Reserve for the second term of the under 14 Division 5 Kerr's Northside Higher Cup grand final. It is Carrillo 2-3-15. All tied up with Winchelsea 2-3-15. Just waiting for a few of the patrons to leave the arena before we get things underway. In fact, the umpire's not going to wait for them to leave on the outer side. He's just going to get things underway in the ruck. Jackie Peck won it out. Knocked it about 25 to 30 metres forward. But on the cricket pitch, we should have another bounce. We will. It was good work from Langley coming through there off the edge of the square. And it's to hold things up. It'll be a free kick to Langley. Might have caught one in the back. Some big units out there, isn't there? He's one of them. He is one of them. The Plays boys, across half back. Boy standing the mark. Gills is big too. Ooh, There's a couple of big back. flies. Jack, your pick. Oh, the back. Winch. Winch Good. now. 20, number 21 for them is Dunkley. Famous name. And uh, turned back by uh, a pretty grim and determined defence for Cryo. They just want the boundary line here. No. Oh, well, oh he's gone the wrong the way. He's gone the wrong way. And he's set, oh, oh, no, he's set up the easy mark, and he's marked it up. And a let off for Cryo. They bang the ball into the middle, and uh, Gilles has got it for uh, Cryo. Awkward-looking kick, but an accurate one. Finds a little fella there, and the skipper in Shelley. Shelley moves the ball quickly. Running on Kyle Connor Kent, who's kicked a couple. His hand passes out in front of himself. The hand passes on. No, he didn't go for for uh, the skipper on the way by. Decided to line up the big sticks and go bang on his own. That's Fitzpatrick and he's missed to the right. One behind. Looks like it'll be Langley to bring it back in. He's got a, one of those raking left foot kicks. Phil. Yes, they do look good when they get onto them, the left footers, don't they? They certainly do. One of the best parts about our game is he goes with that long left foot kick and as soon as we the pump shot, him up, he wobbles one. It was an absolute Barry Crocker. Taking it was Connor Kent. Got the handboard away. And then firing at the goal, it was Dylan Jones. Dear oh dear, that should have been a goal. It definitely should have been a goal. Squandering opportunities early. Corrado moved to 2-5-17. Winchelsea 2-3-15. Two minutes gone in the second term of the under-14 Division 5 grand final. Kicks it to himself on this occasion and just makes 20 metres and then goes with that raking left foot again. Trying to pick somebody out. Back of the pack stuff. Flipped over the top. Fitzpatrick by hand. Still in the van, Carayo looking for options. Jackie Peck on the end of one, couldn't get his kick in. Great tackle from the little fellow with the helmet on. I think it was him, or it might, uh, we'll just see who takes the free kick. No, it's not him, it's in fact, um, Sawney. Sawney, big oh. oh. mark over the top of the pack. Campbell Floyd, take a bow. If you don't mind. From half back into the middle of the ground and a sliding uh, mark for the boy with the green boots on. He's got number 81 on his back, and we don't have uh, any record of him, but it's a terrific mark, and then he kicks it onto the man of the mark, so he's got a second posse here, and throws it away, ball swing <laughs> and bound, play on his table, playing it out in front of him. Perhaps himself. that's why he's got the tackle. Look, he's, uh, he's second and third efforts are okay. Tabor just tries to he's roll over and do a Liam Jarrett, kick it over his head, and he missed it. Kicked off the ground, Winch going forward now. Oh, piling all over him. He's got to get a free kick The Correa led Connor Kent, who's been good. And he's got it here, right on the wing. Just goes short. Don't know who he's kicking it to. Jackie, they're lining up now. Fitzpatrick, third one in the queue. Right foots it out wide. Puts it out in front of the runners. One of the runners is his teammate Cameron Eamon, but he can't control an over line for a throw-in. Langley just coming in on the knees there to try and keep it in play. To no avail. We'll have a ball up at 10 metres inside the line. Flying up in the ruck was Jones for Carrillo. Off the ground, could have been in danger. Ball comes back towards Mules. The next soccer off the ground. Ooh. And the corner from Gilles. Very awkward looking kicking style. But the winch defence hold firm. And they'll try and work this through the middle of the ground to uh, the unknown man, the unknown soldier in the centre of the ground, the man with the green boots. <laughs> For all those at home, you all know who he is, but we've got no a idea. Better kick, son. That was a lovely kick that time to Dunkley. Dunkley moves it on quickly into the centre oh. of the ground. Bounce.
bounce just eluded his teammate momentarily. Carrara can try and repel here through the agency of Gerard. Up towards Connor Kent. They've really got to get someone on him because he's tearing them up. And he goes towards half forward and hits a target. Dylan Jones. Dylan Jones. Just out of that ruck contest about 30 seconds ago. Worked his way across the half forward. He goes very, very long and high Good towards kick. goal. Nice and mark. it's been paid a mark on the goal line. No score to Karai. Now he's come through the wrong way here. That should be called back. The umpires let it go. Very good kick coming wide there towards Dunkley, who takes the mark. Looking to move it quickly towards Brody Hall. Takes it in the hands. He has a man running for him off the bench. He's got to find him. He will. It's Luke Mills, no, the brother of the other helmeted man. I've never seen somebody have it on a footy field. It'll be a mark. Carrillo, they're going back through Oates, up towards half forward over Connor Kent's head. Winchelsea do have the numbers. Berg went back there, but Carrillo will try and come away. He'll be holding the ball in the end. He was outnumbered. He didn't really have a lot to do in the end. Dylan Jones, and he's given away the free kick. Winch at half back. Carter with the ball, offloads it by hand. Belting through Langley has been good. G on the end of the hand. Oh, he went without it in the end. A little bit too overconfident. Might get another opportunity. Just soccers the ball out in front. Well it's a great pick up, Langley. Into the middle he goes and bangs it in short. Who's he looking for? Might have been looking for the big fellow in uh, Hall. Missed him. Cryo, turnover. As they go to centre half forward. No one could take uh, a clean mark. Toing and throwing. Uh, Sawney in there just trying to back out of the pack with a football. Loses possession of it. The little boy with the helmet on down there. Trying hard. Carter. Out wide it goes now, still with Winch Winch will see now, terrible kick and now the opportunity for Carrillo bursting through, Gerard, big booming kick to a pack mark Sir, uh, Sawney takes it and plays it on quickly, looking for the skipper can't take the mark, back of the pack stuff just thumped on beautifully there for uh, uh, Winch by Dunkley Wrapped it on too far though, and yet another turnover, this time for Carrillo now they might be able to mount something here from the wing as uh, he stops and props, turns around, and then uh, left foots at Eamon. Out towards the big fella, Jack Peck, who just gets Eamon on the run. The kick wasn't good enough. Needs to keep it in, Eamon. Does so. Got plenty of time. Little left foot kick looking for Billy J. Just clears him, and we might get a boundary throw in, I think. The kick uh, wasn't quite good enough for Billy J. O'Toole to run onto it. And the boundary line's eluded him. And we'll get a to your ball up now at this level, isn't it? Yes, under 14s, have a ball up inside the line. There's a name for you, Billy J. O'Toole. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? You'd have to call him BJ, though, wouldn't you? Definitely. Well, we'll call him Billy J because it does roll off the tongue. You're right, Phil. Ball in the forward pocket. Well, you're never wrong. I should really understand I that. I thought I was wrong I? once, but I was wrong about it. Which means you were wrong. You are wrong about being wrong. So we can... But then... Anyway, I'm confused. <laughs> They're up towards half back. It's not hard to confuse you, Daniel. <laughs> is it? Ford took the mark, but it was over the line according to the boundary umpire. And it'll be a free kick to Dylan Shelley. Right on the 50. Goes quickly. Kicks over the man on the mark. Up towards oh, 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 hang up. Flew up. Couldn't take the mark. Then went on the left boot outside the 50. Looking for his teammate who was Price, he couldn't come up with it. Carrara go back inside there, attacking 50. This time it went through the hands of Langley. He couldn't take the mark. Racing through was Cleary. He was thrown off it and will have a ball up. Jeez, we've seen some very, very high marks in this Division 5 contest. Oh, look, I'm, I'm surprised at the height of some of these guys and certainly um, uh, the, the skill ability of uh, most of the boys on both sides is, is fantastic. Ball in the full pocket for Karai, they have the numbers, slapped towards Jackie Peck, he couldn't come up with it through his legs, play on to the umpire, ball kick towards the well captain done. McFarlane who's pushed up towards half back, just managed to shove it away into the path of a teammate who keeps on kicking it off the ground, kick. wants to go around the corner, Sawney, he kicks up towards half forward, a little bit of space in, we just see if they can win the footy, but coming and through is Norman, Thomas. goes on the right boot, good kick up towards Gio, couldn't take the mark, coming through again, Sawney slipped at the crucial stage. And we'll have a ball up. There's certainly some prime movers for both sides out there. Sawney certainly one of them. Yeah, it's it's it. Ball in the air. And the big unit uh, went for the big crash was Brody Hall. Carayo come out with it. Oh, clean hold and out of bounds. Luck is a fortune sometimes. On that occasion, not for Eamon. The ball just dropped in front of his teammate Fitzpatrick. Took a uh, leg break and went out of bounds. Well, it was a good old-fashioned Simon Kadditch, the Chinaman. That's it. Caught him off guard. <laughs> Is the National Chrysanthemum. Just in the background, if you can hear that in the sound effects. 
Here's Sawney around the corner. Had no left foot, so he decided to go with his right one. Well done, son. Running onto it was Parrish. He kicked around the corner. And then the ball went over the boundary line out of play. I think Parrish kicked the first two of the game, didn't he? He did. I haven't really seen a lot of him since because the ball hasn't been down there. So he's been moved up onto the footy. We'd better give a score, I suppose. There's only a couple of points in it. 2 5 plays 2 3. It's Correo by two points. Very good, Phil Shaw. We played nine minutes. Can't be uh, we're in the second half for the latter half of the second term. In the back, surely umpire. Good work from Parrish. Little kick came from Luke Mills because his brother wearing a helmet as well. There's three helmets out there. Up close two of them are Mills. There, mate, with, uh, with Dale Jakupek in front of us. Uh, he's a big unit to find the ruck on this occasion. He looks like he's a fourth year apprentice. <laughs> The 2.21s are playing against each other. Jackie Peck won it down. Good work there from Ryan. Got it up towards the wing. Slapped away towards Sawney. Ooh. Had it then lost it then got, got the sat play. on. Got to get one it. high. Free kick to Sawney on the centre wing. It's going against Jack Cleary. And we just see a look to rebuild. He goes inboard, searching for the captain. Trying to dive onto it was McFarlane. Couldn't take it. Good work there from Connor Kent. Handball's back into the centre of the ground, but only as far as Parrish. Just pushed as he kicked. Emon comes up with it, gets on the left boot. Kicks up towards half forward. Leading in the race Run. for Carrara is Dylan Jones. Runs out in front of Langley. Langley decks him at the crucial stage. Well done, Langley. Might have hurt him as well. Can he get to his feet? Well done by the crowd over at the base of that pack just to hold it up. It was one on three, they were coming yeah. from everywhere. And he managed to keep it in and not get holding the ball. He got some toe, Dylan Jones. Gee whiz, he ran like a gazelle to get to that football. The ball taken forward again. Here's that, uh, the unknown soldier. Gives <laughs> it to the skipper. Just uh, rakes it in with a one mitt. A little bit of class, McFarlane. Yes, he has. McFarlane kicks it inside 50. There's a couple of winch boys there. Just need a lucky bounce or two. They're not going to get it. Fighting hard down there. The Corio. Parrish. Is Parrish. He's kicked two. Just drives it onto the boot. And uh, Corio with the numbers back. And they've just got a bit of time to steady. And the kick goes out wide from Paul Oates. And he finds his teammate, Eamon, who's all over the ground, Eamon. He's everywhere. He's like Chicken Man. But he's kicked it out in the fourth. He's kicked it out in the fourth. So he probably needs out. a rest. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> Get him off. So, uh, free kick to Winchelsea. And I'm just uh, spotting up the player down there. will take it. Might be Brown, I think. Kyle Brown, is it? No. Very long way away from us in the shadows of the gum trees at Drew Reserve, Phil. It is. Look, it kicked like Langley. It kicked. He kicked it like Langley. I think it might have been Langley. It was, as the ball comes booming back. Now Winchelsea, he just needs a clean pair of heels. Just drops it onto the the right boot, looking for the bloke off the bench. It was the old-fashioned rubber. Up. It was. Sawney, ah, oh, hello. Yeah, a couple of party tricks there from Sawney. He can play a bit. This boy just kicks it straight into the man of the mark to make a monkey of me. Uh, so uh, he just throws himself on the ball in the end. Gerard gets it out to Tabor. Tabor feeds the hand pass. Good under tackle. the pump, the hyphen gets it out back again towards. Just trying to control Gerard. Gets the hand pass in. Winchelsea, oh gee, little uh, Carter I think just pops it up in the air, but uh, telling Mark and just a saving Mark is Gills. Sounds like the, the siren. No, no I don't Saturday. think it was. No. No, we've only gone 12. We've only gone 12 minutes. Well, the umpire thinks it's all over, does he? Or is he taking it back for a free no, kick? No, it should be Gills' free kick. It is. There you go. Away you go. At half back, got it off to the hyphen in Connor Kent, goes on his right foot. Awkward kick. Awkward kick to Langley. He races away. You Ooh, can't let him have this much space. Style. Goes on the left boot, wobbles it towards half forward. Probably could have done a little bit more with the kick. McFarlane, probably expecting a little bit too much of the young fellow, but he's shown a bit. Off half back, Carrero. Oates goes very long and very wide out towards Jackie Peck in a foot race with Hall. Just beat both of those two as it well came back in board. Good work from Berg. He takes a bounce along the wing for Winchelsea. Goes on the right boot, up and under the it's half forward, ball clears the pack at the back, McFarlane got the handball right. clear, that was great work trying to dodge away, terrific work from, oh. I think that might have been it's Jared really Dunkley it certainly was Jared Dunkley, geez it was stepping off the right and the left, Rubs would have been happy with that one if only he had a left foot on him, he might have I kicked know. that yeah, the way he just, I wouldn't have wanted to be the opponent standing in front of him then, if I was about 12 no. he was steaming, he had a head of steam up so did the skipper very good skills. Ball up right in the teeth of goal here for Winch. Can they make something? As uh, Carrillo, we've got something to say about it. They say no. Kick outside 50. 
Paul Winch will see though. Running onto it for uh, Winch as Floyd has a big, big ping. There's the skill. Oh, oh he can't take the grab. Second effort's good. Brings his opponent down in the uh, tackle. Then they all converge on the footy. I think we've got to get another ball up, surely. As the boys get up and look at the umpire almost pleading when he blows the whistle. There'd have to be 10 or 12 seconds to go. I reckon there can't be long left in this term. Ball tossed up. Knocked to the back. Quite the big fella there in Dunkley, Langley. but cleared away towards Langley, who's moved up towards half foot. He can almost kick it from there if he can find some space. Had to go into his right foot, which is his wrong foot. Hamilton inboard to Parrish, the only goal scorer so far for Winchelsea. Just soccers it towards goal, oh. and then it's rushed through from behind. Back I suppose you are. Yes, you are in this level of footy. Well, they're doing any level of footy unless you're playing in the AFL. In 2009, you are allowed to rush it behind. It might change if you're watching this tape in five years. Uh, Winchelsea. 2 4 16, Lee Carrillo, sorry, Trail Carrillo, 2 5 17. The two big units fight it out. And uh, Jackie Peck bangs it into the centre of the ground. Foot race. Winchelsea might win it. Lopke can't control it. Oh! Billy J goes in, and there's the siren. So we'll get no further addition to the score. It is half time here in the under 14 Division 5 Kerr's Northside Higher Cup Grand Final. Get your lips around that one. And it is Korea by one point, 2 5 17 to Winchelsea, 2 4 16. Welcome back for uh, the second half of what's been a very, very entertaining game of uh, football for Kerr's Northside Higher Cup. It's the Grand Final between Korea and Winchelsea in the uh, under 14's Division 5. Umpires just checking around to see that everybody's off the ground. Ball held on high, and here we go at it. Winch um, are trailing by just one behind. So it's been a great game so far as Winchelsea go forward now. Foot race on, the runners required. Dunkley leading in the race. Ooh. And spray to the right for one behind. So a very, very quick score anyway. They tied it all up. He might have been going a little bit too fast, I think. Might have been his issue there. So it's uh, six to 17 points apiece here, the first minute, and you've got the timer on, haven't you, for this quarter? Yeah, mate. So you'll be the time man. I will be. Oates, the big fella, goes long and high, but probably not long enough in the end because the big fella, Shawnee McFarland, he's taking the mark. About 40 metres out, maybe, yeah, probably 35 when he kicks, perhaps. As he goes back over the arc, I don't think the arcs are 50 here at True Reserve. They're probably only about maybe 45 if you're lucky. In he comes McFarlane, kicks for about mm. 38, way to the right, one behind. But Winchelsea take the lead. We haven't had any goals since the first term, with a goal after the siren. It's Winchelsea 2 6 18, leading Corolla 2 5 17. As Corolla get the ball wide, sliding on hands and knees for Corolla was Gerard. Ball just flipped out. Hall, hands and knees, the big fellow. Hand pass Ooh. was okay because it was to the feet of uh, a teammate who just boots the ball off the ground and oh, then into the open it. goal. Malcolm Blight was uh, Jai Price. He's done a Malcolm Blight. He's missed it. I've, I've just set him up for the goal. He has missed it. Yeah, he just off the side of the boot in the end, I think, and went through for a behind. Restart from Oates. Good effort out there from the big fella Dunkley, got it away to Parrish, goes on the right boot for a goal, he's got three, Winchelsea have three, another goal to Darcy Parrish, and he's been the only goal scorer for Winchelsea, and the only goal scorer, I think Carrillo have uh, Kyle Connor Kent, so only two players in this game have goals, Kyle Connor Kent for, for Carrillo has two, and Darcy Parrish has three, on the scoreboard, Winchelsea three, seven, 25, lead Carrillo 2 5 17. So, what did they kick this quarter with? 1 3 already. Yes, already. They've kicked three, basically three straight behinds, and yeah. then so they've scored nine points on their first attack. It's not a bad effort. No. Well, that was the scoring end early yesterday, and then it sort of turned around a bit, didn't it? Yeah, but there's really no breeze so far. Big Hall smashes the ball down for Winchelsea as they try to go forward again. Here's Connor Kent. Feeds the hand pass out wide to the little uh, fellow. Just uh, spins around and has a crack uh, at the kick. Talon Tide, take it off him. Here's uh, Sordi now. Barrel, barrel. To centre half forward for Winchelsea. Parrish again. There he is, Parrish. He's kicked three. Needs to needs to try and run onto the foot. He's just hanging wide for the hand pass out so he can finish it. It's not going to come his way. It's just a tumble kick out of the pack for Winchelsea forward. And uh, defending grimly along the boundary line. He's got to beat two of them down there for Carayo. And uh, does so in the end. Might have been Paul Oates. It was. And uh, gets the boundary throwing, which is the result he wanted. 
He certainly did. He, he did well there. He had two or three on his hammer and he just got it towards the boundary line. Escorted it over nicely. Up uh, which will see to Sawney who pings from a long, long way oh, out. Oh, Skipper McFarlane. nearly took the mark, McFarlane. It's just uh, four on the ground, didn't uh, have purchase on it, clean purchase, and we'll get another ball up. I thought he was going to crash the pack then, McFarlane, but I think they may have all got out of his way, yeah. intelligently he so. He's a good player, it's no doubt about that. There's uh, two or three big units here at Winchelsea that can go okay. This guy oh, desperately mm. trying to get the ball out of the back pocket here. Just the old don't argue there and then the kick, left foot kick around the boundary, just hugging the boundary. It's a terrific kick in the end. Two or three bounces and hopped over and uh, he's going 30 metres for his side. So we'll get another ball up at half back. Well, that was uh, Justin Rose. He's come into the game probably in the last well, last quarter he was pretty good and there again out of defence, just holding firm. Jackie Peck won it. Didn't uh, Bell it too far. Now's a chance here. Kyle Connor Kent. He's been pretty prolific today. He's got some options. Chest. He has. Tabor's one of them. Gets it to him. Tabor's hand pass no good. He's got one. Back in. He has got one. Here's Jackie Peck now. Just a little uh, right foot kick around the body. Right towards the broadcast spot. Oh. A big tackle lay there. He took too long to get rid of it, I reckon, Fitzpatrick. And uh, the tackle was good. Right in front of us. Toing and throwing, Langley, pulled off the footy, might get the free kick. We'll get the free kick, he's been good. No, I think, Langley. I think Jackie Pitt was trying to come through and fix up Langley, who got his mate, and couldn't get away with it. Kicking into the centre of the ground, right. surging for the unknown soldier. Billy Jay. But coming across to take the marks, Billy Jay O'Toole decided to save it a can. He gave it a jamming prep kick on the right boot, couldn't get it through. Good dodging work down there done by Lubke. He goes back into the centre of the ground to find Berg. Bouncing footy, gathers it on the bounce. Then it's over the footy. It will be holding the footy, and advantage to Billy Jay O'Toole. No, he doesn't want to take it. He'll bring it back. So it'll be a free kick to Kyle Connor Kent. I think was one of the tacklers in the gang tackle. On the left boot, up towards half forward. Oh, oh, oh nearly sorry. up. Couldn't take the mark. For the footy. I've got to get a few down here if they can, Caro. Off the right boot, Saddington. Up towards full forward, but going back with a flight. Langley again. That was a great mark by Langley. He goes on the left boot. Yeah, towards half back. The handball came from probably the unknown soldier there. Tried to get it away <laughs> to Campbell Floyd. And it's gone dripping over the boundary line now to play. Right in front of the Kawhi faithful. Have a look at him over there. There's one of my mice. It's about 50 of them over there. Said sensational to see him out here. Underneath the gum trees. There it is, up and down. Hall just belts it back over the line. We'll get another throw, another ball up. It's difficult to get around that throw in ball up situation. It is, because we're used to them ball throwing it in. Yeah. There's the ball up as uh, Sawney at the back of the pack takes it, hand passes off. Oh, Good, good option, Floyd. His hand pass is no it. good. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, there's some mistakes going on here. Tumbling, falling over, miss hand passes. Correa still with a chance now. Well done. Tickles the ball through the, uh, the pack. Now Correa right to the teeth of goal. There's a two on three. Winch have got the numbers. They just need to get the ball a, a kind bounce. Oh. Turns out okay for them in the end. Yeah. And uh, little Carter's got it close to the boundary the line. And, and in fact, the, runs it over. Yeah. And we'll get a ball up. He caught one there, Carter, but he got himself straight back up. Well done to the young fella. Ball to be tossed back up. About five or six metres inside the boundary line. We've played six and a half minutes. Winch will see leading by eight points. We've only had goals in this contest. I think at uh, oh, Winchelsea anyway. I've only kicked goals to the right of screen. And Karai, I've only kicked goals to the left of screen. So they're both going to their respective scoring ends, Phil. They certainly are. <laughs> uh, and no, no, very, 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 interesting of very interesting of you to pick that up. Only you, Daniel Hill, would pick that up. Well, probably so. Out wide. Uh, it might go over again, I think, just in front of um, Campbell Floyd. They've got a lot of blondies out there, Winchelsea, don't they? Yeah, Campbell Floyd and Parrish are very similar looking. And it's great that they play at opposite ends of the ground. Especially from 200 yards away. And it's great they play at opposite ends of the ground. Yes, it is. Here's Correa now. Opportunity to score this time. Oh, Jackie Peck Billy Jay shoves a few out of the way and tries to clear the path. Doesn't quite do it. Winchelsea under the pump. The kick to centre half back. 
and needing somebody just to get a lucky bounce. It's the unknown soldier. Just uh, soccer's the ball in midair. Pretty Gains a bit of ground. Out. Only out in front of Jackie <laughs> Peck, who needs to uh, control a footy. He's running about 30 metres. Finally picks it up, and then uh, right foots it around the corner. It's only as far as Hall, who takes the mark, and a telling mark for Winch at half back. Out of side. Oh, he's he tries to, to play on going he's around gone. his man. Oh, he's got gone. around his man. Oh, the big don't gone. argue. He's gone crash bang well up <laughs> on two or three of them. I thought he might have got the hand on the way too. And uh, the result's a free kick. Then the free kick is for Carrillo. Big banging kick inside 50. No one takes the mark. Right on Carter. It was. And this time. Uh, He's off, surely. Um. Surely he's or off. 50, one or the other. Yeah, Winch will see. No, the umpire's giving him the benefit of the doubt. Right on Dunkley. Bangs it into the middle. There's three or four Winch blokes around there, but he's just uh, picked up his Correo opponent who kicks the ball to centre half four. Dunkley this time, time to reload. Dunkley this time goes wide and picks out a target. Sawney. And it is Sawney. He'll take a bounce. I reckon he'll take four bounces. There's one. I don't know, he's made a liar of me. <laughs> but he should have saying? taken three, he's run that far. But anyway, he's got a wave that kicks it inside 50. Here's a chance for Parrish. Rich. Parrish back on the lurking. football, just lurking. Hand passes it off. Right foot kick around the body. Oh, well done. Berg it was. Straight and just McFarlane. picked him out. Didn't, uh, didn't blaze, just had a bit of a look and found the skipper. With socks down and hair growing by the second. <laughs> Sean McFarlane from that Point Blake head, Range. Is. Goes bang and kicks a goal for Winch. And your theory's right about the scoring end for them, as they have their fourth. I think they might because their fans are down that end, perhaps. Is that what it does? Maybe. What it takes? Maybe it's something. Maybe in the last quarter they should move themselves up the other end. 4-7 plays 2-5. So uh, Winch just stretching the lead out a little bit. Out to uh, 14 points, in fact. Yes, that's a very, very big lead in a grand final in the under-14s. Yeah, they've sneaked away, quarters. haven't they? They've sneaked away. They have, and you'd almost think another goal would clinch it for Winchelsea. Although Carrillo, if they can get the next one, they're right back in the contest. Jackie Peck into the ruck. Kyle Connor Ken on the footy with Cameron Emond. And also Brent Ryan, two prime movers. No, that's not the siren, boys. You've got to keep going. Jackie Peck. Up towards half forward. Good tackle. It was a good tackle laid on Zach Mules. He's your man, Emon. Now Carrillo go inside 50 through Emon. As Phil just mentioned, clear oh, well the pressure. Done. Well done by the young fellow. We haven't seen him for a while, Fincham, but he's certainly got a bit of dash. That wasn't oh, too good. On the right boot. We'll take that as a bounce because he was going to kick at Dylan Bond. Okay. Instead just scrubs it towards the full forward position. And stepping off the left and the right was Langley. Bit of Carmichael Hunt about that. <laughs> then kicking around the corner. That was Campbell Floyd. Over the top, Langley, Langley punched it away. Giving chase. The big fella, Dylan Bond. He's got a bit Langley of ability, Langley. around, kicked on the left boot. He found his teammate. Beautiful kick in the end towards Dunkley. He's got it on the one. Sawney. Steps inside off the right foot. Rabbits Warren would have gone ballistic if he hadn't seen that. Races away to half forward. A second bounce. Goes to 50 oh. and sprays it. Towards the pocket, it's gone out of bounds on the full. All the good work undone with an, an ed admiration ed if you've ed ever kick. seen one. Yes. So it's Winchelsea leading by 14 points, but a free kick to Carreau in the back pocket. There's a lot of talent on both these sides. Goes to Oates, but he only finds Dunkley. Turnover. Dunkley, 50 from home. He has the big fella in the goal square, and McFarlane goes in that direction. A little bit narrow with the kick. Oates towards the boundary line, under pressure from Parrish. Got to get rid of it. Does. Or is it holding the ball? Oh, umpire obviously said that he threw it. So free kick to Parrish, and he'll square it up, doing the team things. Oh, off McFarlane's knee, towards the face of goal, and rushed through for a behind by eights. Rushed. So Winchelsea, 4-8-32. They'd Carrillo, 2-5-17. We've played 11 and a half minutes, almost 12 minutes, in the third term of the under-14 Division 5 Kerr's Northside Higher Cup Grand Final. The Premiership quarter, the third quarter, and Winch are uh, showing all of those qualities. Oates to put the ball back into play for Correo. They will come home with, to what I believe is the scoring end, Correo, so not all over yet. Bit of breeze picking up yeah, as well. it is. It's, uh, it did yesterday. He was looking for ja um, the big fellow there for um, his side, Jack Peck. Missed him. Out wide now. Just working the ball now, Carrillo. Unlucky bounce. Carter up from the back pocket. Oh, bangs it in long and bangs it in beautifully. 
to the skipper, who's taken the mark in front of goal, Sean McFarlane. This might just be the icing on the cake, this one. You could almost drop kick this one. Might through. just about be putting the gold jackets on, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, McFarlane kicks his second, and his side's fifth goal, Winchelsea. They've got the sniff of a premiership, moved to five goals eight. That's 38, and they lead Corio 2-5, 17. That's good work there from Winchelsea. Obviously, Karai trying to come out of defence. They they weren't able to do so. Just those tall timber, big bodies of uh, of Winchelsea making it very, very hard for Karai to repel outside of there. Yeah, well, little Carter, um, he set it up, didn't he? He must have he followed did. his man down from the back line, the back pocket. He's uh, got the ball in the middle of the ground and just picked out his skipper beautifully, and he did the rest. I think it was one of those things where they were forced to go up the middle in the end, Karai, because every time they went wide, they turned it over. And as you said, Carter was waiting. Ball back in the centre of the ground. Jackie Ooh. Peck won the tap, then over, ran the footy. They'll come forward here through Kyle Connor Kent. Goes up towards half forward. Over the head of a couple. Lands with Fincham. He just knocks it away into the path of his opposition player in Fitzpatrick, who goes long and high. Langley by himself. Third in line. Gathered the footy. Yep. Did beautifully. Stepped off the right foot, then kicked on the left foot. Up towards the oh. unknown soldier, almost got cleaned up. Play on to the umpire, racing away. Jackie Peck takes a bounce, runs to 50, kicks it off the instep, but it'll oh, be good enough. They can boys. raffle it. Who's going to win the raffle? Might be red number five, but he's bundled off it by Langley. Super footballer Langley. Couldn't get the handball Brilliant. away, shrugged the tackle. Just dealt with McGregor easily as you like. Kick. Then kicked out towards the back. He found his teammate there in Floyd. Kicks on the right boot up towards the wing. Oh, well done. Good work there from the young fella in Saddington. Goes back inside, attacking 50. Coming through is Cleary. He couldn't get it. It'll be a free, free kick, kick going against him. And it'll be going the way of Dunkley, is it? Uh, looks like it. He goes on the right boot up towards Sawney. Couldn't take the mark. Turnover. Kyle Connor Kent wants to go quickly. Playing at all costs. Perhaps the word from the coaching box. Dylan Bond oh. came out to meet it. Tried to give the handball away there to Talentire. He's under pressure. And Sorry. there's the siren. So at three quarter time, 21 of points the up. Under 14 Division 5 Grand Final. The Corio boys aren't happy. That was a terrible quarter from them, but a fantastic quarter from Winchelsea. They lead 5 8 38 to Corio 2 5 17. A 21 point lead to Winchelsea going into the final term of the Under 14 Division 5 Kerr's Northside Cup Grand Final for 2009. Welcome back to Drew Reserve, the final quarter of Game 1 today and a very, very big program. It is the Kerr's Northside High Cup Division 5 Under 14 Grand Final. Correo and Winchelsea as the umpire holds the ball aloft and it is Winchelsea with a Premiership third quarter leading by 21 points. I would have thought Correo are probably going with the, uh, the breeze in this final term, so... Uh, they might have some uh, something to stamp on the game yet as uh, Connor Kent gets the kick around the corner inside 50. And Carayo going the long way home. Out wide, Eamon, left foot kick. It's not bad, but uh, no one can control the footy. And uh, one behind. So first score of the uh, the quarter goes to Carayo to make it a 20-point ball game. Langley goes to himself and then goes very, very long and very, very wide. Almost picked out Billy Jay. He couldn't take the mark for Carayo. Outnumbered one on three in the end. Did well to get it in ball, but it'll be a free kick going against Saddington for kicking in danger. Go to the Winchelsea defence, and I'll try and work it wide. Looking for Sawney. In fact, over there is Dunkley. A little bit uh, closer to the footy than what Sawney was. Dunkley straightens things up towards the unknown soldier. He'll try and run onto it. Oh! Almost got absolutely impaled. Good work there by Dylan Bond. Managed to pick up the footy, kick back towards half forward, but only as far as Dunkley. Goes on the right boot towards the unknown Goodbye. soldier, takes a diving mark, the slips catch. He's about 70 from home, goes on the left boot, goes wide, searching for Sawn. He almost spoiled his teammate in Bailey. Now Bailey's got to find someone. He has a man by himself, wearing the helmet down in the forward pocket. But he won't go to him, gets very close to the man of the mark, kicks it up and down the chimney. Jackie Peck comes through. Oh. Beautiful <laughs> mark. Might have hurt his teammate in Saddington, but Jackie Peck takes the mark on his chest at half back, looking to move it quickly. Goes long and wide. It was a very, very good mark in the end by the young fellow Cleary. Got it over the top to Ian. Oh, he had it spent. Footy. He did have it spent before he turned around. Now Jackie Peck follows up his work. Good work from Cleary. Got it away back to Jackie Peck. Jackie Peck to 55. Goes oh, for home. Don't oh. tell me he's kicked it. Oh, oh bounces away to the right. 
And that was Winchester, promising. The Winchester Cheer Squad get up the Bronx Cheer. I don't think we should be doing that in the underage footy, but anyway, <laughs> it's uh, under 14 Division 5, Kerr's Northside High Cup Grand Final. It is Winchelsea. 5 8 38. They lead Karayo 2 7 19. 2 7, is it, or 2 6? 2 7 now with that behind. It is, you're right. Langley, the restart, goes wide. Good mark by Dunkley. He's been prolific in the second half. He's taken grabs left, right and centre. He's at left half back for Winchelsea. Called the go. Connor Kent closes in on the mark. Looking for McFarlane, but he won't get there. Giles takes the mark. Good mark. Giles, I should say. Awkward kick, though. Very awkward kick. Edge of the square. Looking to go quickly. Interesting drop. Very Daryl White-esque. What a bad kick, though. But as picks we see, it, he picks out Eamons. <laughs> and we don't draw a picture, Phil Jaw. We're just right in the book. And he finds a teammate in the pocket. They've been working in tandem, those two, Cleary and Evans, in the last couple of minutes, working quite nicely together, working beautifully. Working beautifully, like you and I, Daniel Hill, working beautifully. Well, Phil Shaw, you better call this one through the middle for us. It's got to get there first. Oh, Big shame. grab needed. Jackie Peck was there. Front of the back, front and centre. Still he an is. opportunity. Shrugs a few of them. Oh. Gets tagged, hand passes in. Oh. Kick smothered. Oh. <laughs> defending grimly. <laughs> Very grimly. Good play. Gets it out of the danger zone momentarily. The hyphen gets onto it. Connor Kent, left foot kick forward. Back. Oh, delivered up. Seat. Oh, not necessarily. No, I think that's pretty 80. good defence. That's a terrific kick. Yeah, that's pretty good defence, the little blonde-headed fellow down there. It's one or two. He's jammed it on the boot and kicked at 60. Might have been Campbell Floyd, I think. Terrific work. We'll give it to him anyway. It was yeah. terrific work. We're going to throw in. He almost went grand finals from those sorts of plays. Well, he was last man back, wasn't he? He was. And uh, good defensive work. There's the ball up. Karaya, opportunity to reload here. This is Connor Kent. Tries to squeeze the ball through the traffic. Couldn't do it. Jackie Beck hovering over the football. Just thumps it out wide. Looking for someone to run onto it. Might work out okay for them. Little fella Ryan bombs it in. Free kick. Right at the top of the goal square. And it is a free kick, I think. Or is it a ball up? No, it's a free kick. You call it, Daniel. It's a free kick to Carayo. They need this one, Cleary. Jack Cleary. Haven't seen a lot of him in this game. But you don't need to to kick a goal. And that's exactly what he's done, Jack Cleary. And a very handy one for Carayo. As they come home with the breeze, they trail now by just 13 points after trailing by 21 at three-quarter time. Well, they're right back in this one now, Carayo. They probably need the next goal. There's no doubt about that. And the under 14 grand finals, there are only 14 or 15 minute quarters, so you do need to move quickly and quickly. <laughs> They've done that so far, and they look fairly good. They just need to keep the pressure on. Perhaps win it out of the centre on this occasion. Bit of John Peck. Farnham about it, eh? Keep the, the pressure down. Get the pressure down. Jackie Peck and Hall against each other. Jackie Peck just needs to slap it to himself, go to the footy, run That's to right. 16 kilo. Take a couple of bounces, because he's kicking the country kilometre. He goes up, cut one in the scomp, passes to the umpire. Connor Kent came through, to oh. the pushed off the kick, play on to the umpire. It was good work from Berg in the end, just affected the kick at a crucial stage. Up towards half forward for Winchelsea Bailey under pressure, just tagged at the good. critical well stage. Campbell over the top, it'll be a free freak. kick. Kyle Brown came up the footy, it might be downfield, it might go to Kyle Brown. That's uh, coming back. It'll come back to Bailey. Might have served them better, Winchelsea, to let it go. Perhaps. Got Sawney running for him. He's not the biggest kick in the club, this Just kicking to Dunkley. He's waiting there. No one on him. Instead goes further. Oh, a big flight at the back from Sannington. Couldn't take the mark. Little foul at the back is Norman. Needs to rush it behind. Kyle Ken will be happy to do that. Kyle Connor Ken, I should say. In he'll go to himself. Smart footy. Go on the left boot. Very, very long. Talk about experience beyond his years. Gets it wide. Very, very long kick. Over towards Gerard. Runs onto the footy. Goes on the left boot. This could be the best rush behind in history. Got it up to the wing. As soon as I say that, they're under pressure. We work from Cleary, but he coughed it up. Came back to Berg for Winchelsea up towards half forward, or the half forward attacking side of wing, I should say. Around the Ooh, corner. Good work diving attempt. From Lubke. It was a diving attempt. A very, very good diving attempt in the end, but he yeah. couldn't come up with it. I'm not Cannons sure that the hoardings throw in. Well, sure that rush behind was exactly what was required. Well, it could have been so what was required point. if they had got a goal. Well, yes. But now they didn't. It's a bit it's of a, a loss. low-scoring game, so uh, I think every score is important. As uh, Connor Kent has uh, really thrown himself into it in this quarter, Dropped goes it up. forward again. Bad Whistle and, and a free high. kick to Winchester. 
Might have got him high, but, uh, certainly dropped the footy. Looks for Dunkley, misses him. The unknown soldier thumps it wide to Sawney. Just collects the football. He plays just the one and weaves the a couple soldier. of them. <laughs> and uh, then gives it off to Dunkley, back to Sawney. Trying to build here into the breeze. Pariah might have something to say about it. Zeman has been good in this term so far. Gets the footy, hand passes off. Dodgy hand pass. Billy J, clobbered. Got to get a free kick at centre half forward, surely. No, he's been pinged. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And he's not real happy with it either. Just let him go by. No, he might have caught one a little bit high. Here come Wintersey now through the wing. Inside 50. Thumping it to himself. Pariah defence, standing firm. Opportunity now for Winchell to see the reload. As Dunkley's uh, hand passes a skew. He was looking for Hall. Goes back in to try and retrieve the footy. Just got to get it out. Right Both parish. sides do. Was. Here's uh, Parrish's hand pass as uh, Winchell's go for. Looking for McFarlane. Can't take the mark. Lays the tackle. Still oh, trying to go tackle. forward. Little fella with the blonde shock of hair for Cryo. Just punches it out. Norman doesn't get it away Dead. in time. And the bombing kick back into full forward. The helmeted one takes it on his chest. And Winchelsea now with a chance to perhaps wrap it all up. Kyle Brown, he's not far out. It's about 12 metres out directly in front. He was struggling about the distance, I reckon his legs are that small. He'll go bang and kick the goal. Oh, it's flat. The goal. Well done, young fella. He's been sniffing around for the entire game. The little fella sniffing around looking for a crumb. The only problem has been there hasn't been many crumbs because the big blokes every time he's come in have taken the grab. He's been sniffing around Sean McFarlane's feet for the whole game. Partners in crime down there, different sizes. Well, yeah. Different that, abilities and different tasks at hand, but they've done very, they very well. They might have just them. about snuffed Carayo's uh, winning chances out with that goal as they stretch it back to a 20-point lead. In the middle we are Hall and Jack Yipek. Hall just looks it to himself and tries to take off and outrun Jack Yipek, does so, and then bangs it inside 50, and McFarlane stands tall and takes the mark. Set a half forward. The little fellow was there again, Kyle Brown. He got absolutely smashed. There he goes, McFarlane. Spots up a teammate. Who Good was, team uh, footy. Who was pretty instrumental, Berman, in that previous goal. And he finds the uh, the ball on his chest here and only 15 to 20 metres out almost directly in front. Berman for Winchelsea. To cap off what's been a great game of football for Winch. Touched. No, There's the goal up by. Just another penalty. Hey? 50 metre penalty. penalty, well it was touched. It's either screaming at the man on the mark, from the man on the mark, or... Well there it is, he makes a well, save at this time, Berman. And he kicks the goal, and Winter out to a 26 point lead, and victory you would think. 7-9, 51, Winchelsea, 3-7-25, Carayo. Well, Winchelsea haven't won a flag for a very, very long time in the junior competition. Under 14s and under 16s, according to my record book. Jack your pick off the ground. Good as throwing in the towel, isn't it, for Carrier? I suppose they've got to get some of their no, kicks. They they fresh do legs have a big bench. He's, been his, he's been running his legs off in this term. He needs a rest. He's done a stellar job today. There's a lot of players on the bench for Carrier that will get themselves onto the ground at this last quarter. Ball comes very, very long from Fitzpatrick out of the centre of the ground. One on two out no. up and down there was Birchall. Good work from the winch defence. On the right boot, outside defensive 50. Ooh, Good mark from Jules. He's played well today. He's taken a lot of marks. He's got that awkward kicking style, but he sort of kicks it around the corner, but it goes where he likes it to go. It's fairly accurate. Connor Kent, the roving, on the left boot towards oh. goal. He's missed it to the left. Dear, oh dear, you can't afford that. It is 7-9, Winchelsea, 51. 3-8. 3, eight. Caro, three eight, 26. Langley to himself. Again, he's done that a couple of times this afternoon or this morning. Spots up a teammate in Campbell Floyd. Also been very good for the Winch boys. Goes on the right boot. Belly wide towards Price. Couldn't take the mark. Has time to sit and wait. Langley follows up. Gets onto the left boot. Likely looking tight. Goes up towards oh. McFarlane. Almost collided with his teammate. Then he tried to get a handball out. Good interception there Gerard. from the Carrier defence. Gerard, Michael Gerard. Tops it up. Only as far as Dunkley. Races away. On the right boot up towards half for the man with the headband. He races out for Carrier from half back. Couldn't come up with a footy. He'll keep going at it. Did a good job there, Justin Rose. Play on to the umpire. Handball over his head from Ryan. Still in there, Rose. Trying to fight for it. Back towards McFarlane. He's under pressure. 
Bird will get a free kick from in the back. He will. Free kick for Wintersea, corner of the square. About 65 from home, too far out to score. Yeah, they'll be able to go inside attack. Kurt Bird. From 70. Oh, kicks it to 50. And McFarlane just puts the mitts up and takes an easy mark. Talk about nonchalant. I think there's a bit of a mismatch with the bloke on the, who was playing on him there. He should go to Barrel he will go. He'll nearly kick the distance, I reckon. <laughs> oh, it's a go. big kick. Ball, oh, oh, nearly oh. a mark. Can't quite grab it. Off the might get side. one anyway. In danger up might kick it off the ground. Oh, he yes. does. Going absolutely nowhere. The ball is spinning the wrong way. As Gerard just runs the ball through from behind. They're well drilled, these Cryo boys. They run it through from behind any time it's close to goal. Although at this stage of the game, it's not really going to help the cause. 26 points in front, Winchell seat. They've got this game parceled up, one would think. Oh, well done. As uh, oh, Cryo right boy away. clear, he's kicked a goal. Barry. Like, like a pinball. Here's Parrish for number three. Bangs it in long. Here's uh, Dunkley. Just oh, he's tagged to the ground. Fighting hard in defence, Cryo. Very, Langley very hard. Goal. He's down there. He's got one. No, it was Parrish. Dunkley or Parrish? I reckon Dunkley. it was Dunkley. Might have been. It was Dunkley. I'm pretty. No, they're all. I don't know who they're congratulating. I think they're happy. Just happy boys with everybody. You see Langley sniffing around at the top of the goal square. I don't think he's been up there probably all year. Yeah. Probably playing in defence. I'm giving it to Dunkley because they gave him a drink. So it's uh, pretty sure it was Dunkley. Fair enough. So we'll give him a goal as well. And they're sure. on to 8, 10, 58. They lead now by 32 points, would you believe, wouldn't you see? So it's been a bit of a rout here in the last half. And uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous last half, actually, by the Winchelsea boys. They've um, taken no prisoners. Ball back in the centre of the ground. One out of the centre by Dunkley down to Langley. Moved himself into the midfield. Went on the left boot up towards half forward. Ball bouncing down in front of him. That was good work from the young fellow Berman. there in Durban. Went around the corner. Here's your man. McFarlane. He goes around the corner. Top of the goal square, the little fella. He's partnering Kyle and Kyle Brown. Couldn't come up with the footy. In there's Parrish. Got him to the left boot. Kicked it about three yards. Back towards my little man down there, Kyle Brown. He couldn't come up with it. Oates is Bang. there. Got a kick off the right boot. From the little fella. Your little man. Little Kyle Brown, he kicked the goal. <laughs> he's excited. Or was it Ryan Bailey? I reckon it's Brown, he's kicked two. Oh, I reckon it might have been Brown, but I'm sure in the last two goals, the Winchelsea faithful watching the video, watching the DVD, will be able to rewind and make a lie of both of us. That's right. We're just looking at the scoreboard here for a replay, but unfortunately, not only is there no replay, there's no scoreboard. It only costs us twenty thousand dollars to get a truck in for that sort of uh, That's right. activity. I could lop a couple of gum trees over there and pop it in. It wouldn't wouldn't hurt at all. Oh, I reckon uh, the conservationists would be all over us like a rash. You think so? I think you're probably right. Anyway, they've stretched it out now, which will see as the siren goes, they've won the premiership. Which will see in a tremendous Four-quarter effort, really. Corio went with them for two quarters almost, but Winchelsea just stretched the muscles out and ran out pretty simple winners in the end. 9-10-64 to Corio, 3-8-26. Winchelsea Premiers for 2009, Division 5 under 14, the Kurth, Kurz North Side. Number three, Brady Hall.
25, Darcy Parrish. 29, Mitchell Berman. 33, Jared Lucky. 34, Kurt Boo. 38, Christopher Westfall. 39, Cassidy Albury. 45, Lee Stokes. 48, Lachlan Brown. 56, Will Langley. 81, Sam Kelly. 